My name is Dr. Cedric Ortegara. I'm an orthopedic surgeon here at Mayo Clinic Florida and I'd like to talk to you today about some of the most frequently asked questions regarding knee replacement surgery. Knee replacement surgery is becoming much more and more common. The most common reason for a knee replacement is osteoarthritis, essentially a diagnosis where we lose the cartilage in our joints. It affects over two-thirds of people over 65 years of age, but it also affects about a third of people between the ages of 40 and 64. As I mentioned, osteoarthritis is the most common reason for needing a knee replacement surgery. If you've been diagnosed with osteoarthritis, there's a number of non-operative treatments that are available. Pills, injections, weight loss, physical therapy, all these things are a very important part of trying to treat osteoarthritis. Unfortunately, there's no known cure for osteoarthritis. And if you've been through all these treatments and are still suffering from pain and disability, surgery may be the answer for you. Now, for most patients with osteoarthritis, a knee replacement is the right option. Essentially, a knee replacement surgery allows us to replace the worn out cartilage in the knee with an artificial implant. A metal and plastic implant is placed into the knee, cemented into position, and essentially takes the function of the worn out cartilage. Instead of walking on a bone on bone surface, which is quite painful, we've replaced that surface with an implant which is now metal on plastic. The actual surgery takes about two hours to perform and most people are in the hospital for about three days. There can be a lot of pain associated with surgery and our uh, anesthesiologists and pain specialists here have some special techniques that help deal with that. We typically use regional anesthesia and peripheral nerve catheters which are special pain relieving techniques that help you recover from your surgery much easier and much quicker. After the surgery Typically, people are on a walker for about two weeks and a cane for about another four weeks. After three days in the hospital, some patients can go home where we set up a home health system and nurses and physical therapists to come help you at home, while others may feel like they need some more help and may stay in a rehabilitation facility for a short period to help them recover. Now, most people feel fairly well recovered after about three months after this type of surgery, but the rate of recovery is very different as each patient has a different level of pain recovery and functional recovery as far as strength is concerned. Physical therapy is very important afterwards. As far as activities after surgery, many people ask what types of activities can I perform after surgery? In general, we recommend low impact activities. We want patients to be active. So activities such as walking, cycling, swimming, water aerobics, these are all great activities. In general, we don't recommend that patients do a lot of high impact activities such as running. Light tennis may be uh, acceptable, particularly doubles tennis on soft surfaces and other activities like golf. We do find that some patients have some limitations with knee replacements. Oftentimes they find kneeling can be difficult, not that it's dangerous, but often uncomfortable. So if you're looking forward to gardening and other activities around the house, you need to know that you may not be comfortable kneeling with a knee replacement. Many patients ask the success rate of this surgery. In general, about 98% of patients one year after surgery are happy that they've had it performed and many wish they never waited. When we look to long-term outcomes or how long a knee replacement may last, many of the scientific studies are showing us that 90 to 95% of knee replacements can last 10 to 15 years. Reasons why the knee replacement may wear out or fail could be loosening of the implants or wearing out of the plastic. A, an inf a knee replacement can have an infection or you can fall and break a bone around the implant. Many patients ask about what potential complications can happen after a knee replacement. One of the biggest concerns we have is infection in a knee replacement. The infection rate in a knee replacement is around 0.5 to 1%. If an infection occurs, it can occur around the time of surgery or it can happen even years later. Simple procedures such as dental cleanings can circulate bacteria in our bloodstream. Those bacteria can find themselves and seed around artificial implants such as a knee replacement. Because of this, we typically recommend that after a joint replacement, 
patients have antibiotic prophylaxis. They take pills, antibiotic pills, about an hour before their dental procedure. We typically re recommend this for about two years after surgery, or if there are reasons why your immune system is not healthy, we may recommend this longer. That's something you should talk to your doctor about. Another potential complication is a blood clot. Anytime we perform surgery on a leg, particularly a hip or a knee, there is a risk of developing a blood clot or a deep venous thrombosis. To reduce that risk, we place most patients on a blood thinner after surgery for a short period of time. This helps reduce the risk of that blood clot. We also feel that the best form of re reduction of a blood clot is early mobilization, which is why early, early physical therapy and moving around is quite important. The therapy after a knee replacement can be painful, and occasionally people have difficulty obtaining their full motion in the knee. So stiffness is a potential complication as well. Uh, it's very important to have adequate pain control and work on your physical therapy at least once or twice a day in the immediate post-operative period. Many patients ask us about advances in technology. And each year we have advances in both the implants and the way we insert the implants. Uh, we find that the most important thing is not necessarily the subtle differences between the different implants, but the overall surgical technique of the surgeon. In other words, all of the major implants available on the market today have shown to have excellent outcome. If they are put in properly by the surgeon, we would expect to have a good outcome with that. Secondary to that are patient factors. In other words, how you treat and handle the knee. Weight and overall activity are quite important in determining how long a knee replacement may last. As long as the knee replacement is put in properly and is taken care of by the patient, we would expect a good long-term outcome. And so while there are subtle differences in each of the different types of implants that are available and new technologies in how we put the implants in, that's a discussion that you should have with your surgeon prior to proceeding with surgery to decide what may or may not be right for you. If you're suffering from knee pain, there may be many reasons other than just osteoarthritis causing your pain. This would uh, prompt an evaluation either with your primary care physician or with an orthopedic surgeon such as the ones here at Mayo Clinic. If you're having difficulties, contact your primary care physician. They may refer you to us for an evaluation. Otherwise, you can contact us for a direct appointment to have an evaluation. Typically, we start with plain x-rays and an examination, and that's often enough for us to give you a thorough diagnosis. Other times, other imaging, such as a magnetic, magnetic resonance imaging or MRI, may be required. If you're interested in coming to visit with us, feel free to contact us and look up more information at mayoclinic.org.